Okay, before I go on, let me just acknowledge it could just be a clock. Nothing more, nothing less. But as many of you might have already noticed, there's a slightly mysterious object that appears in the Pikmin 4 reveal trailer. Starting on this frame right here, we see what looks like a stopwatch or timer hanging on a small garden fence right above the bulb orb. Ever since I saw the trailer for the first time, I found this to be a little curious. And I think it could possibly be a hint at something Nintendo is trying to tell us about the game. Let's break that down a little bit. So what's so strange about a simple old clock? Well, let's think about the context. Isn't it a little out of place here? I don't know, like, is that a thing? Do people keep clocks in their gardens? Maybe to time when plants should be watered or things like that? I tried searching up garden clock online, and yeah, garden clocks are a thing, but having one here, especially one this small, and hanging off this very short fence, seems like a really random decision. Remember, even these bigger bulb orbs are tiny compared to humans. Take the park bench in the beginning of the trailer as an example for scale. So this clock we see hanging here is an extremely tiny pocket watch size thing. As I said, it's just really random. Like, why a clock outdoors? And why are we seeing it in this trailer? Right away, my mind sought out to rationalize why it was here. I at first thought, well, it's Pikmin, and there's random junk everywhere on that planet. Which is true, but a lot of the time, this is junk that is to be collected by a team of Pikmin. Like in Pikmin 2, when we had to scavenge for random objects on the planet. But this stopwatch is hanging on a nail, which seems like it could potentially prevent Pikmin from being able to pick it up. It doesn't seem like something Pikmin can carry, so it's there for another reason. It's placed so prevalently in the shot too, so part of me thinks the clock's inclusion actually has a deeper meaning. Naturally, we need to look at the clock's hands and what time it's displaying. The numbers on this clock are Roman numerals, but if we actually read the time, it looks to be about 10.08, since the hour hand is directly on the Roman numeral 10, and the minute hand is at about 3 ticks past 5, in this case, the Roman numeral 1, meaning 10 hours and 8 minutes. So, 10.08, how is this significant? Well, maybe this is a stretch, but there's a chance this could be a sneaky hint toward the game's release date. We could take the displayed time of 10.08 to mean a couple things. It could signify the 8th day of the 10th month, meaning October 8th, and we could expect a Pikmin for release on that day next year. In a way, this seems like a pretty legit theory, especially since Pikmin games almost always come out in October, the series anniversary month. So, I was almost ready to pencil in October 8th as the date we might actually see Pikmin 4. But there's one thing that makes me doubt this theory. October 8th is a Sunday, not a Friday. The latter being the day of the week that big games typically release nowadays. Now, there's obviously nothing ruling out a potential Sunday release. Games can come out any day of the week, there's no hard rule on that. But a Sunday release just doesn't seem to happen very often, especially for Nintendo. So, looking at it this way, the day of the week doesn't quite line up for this theory. But what if we read it another way? I'm American, so I'm used to reading dates with the month first followed by the day. But many others might read the line displayed on the clock as instead hinting to the 10th day of the 8th month. In other words, August 10th. But unfortunately, even with this flip-flop of numbers, we still run into a similar issue. August 10th is a Thursday, not a Friday. So close, but no cigar. I will say though, Pikmin 4 would be a great title for the summer, and a Thursday game release is definitely not unheard of. For example, just this year, Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope came out on October 20th, a Thursday. So the clock hands being a hint to Pikmin 4 landing in August is not a totally crazy idea either. So far, we've looked at both the hour and the minute hands of the clock, but what about the second hand? Is this third hand trying to tell us something too? Well, first of all, this is the only hand of the clock that's actually moving. So I think if there is a hint here, it's not the numbers the hand is pointing to, but rather how the hand is moving. This is actually really interesting. Take a close look at the movement of the second hand. It's stuck in a loop as it continuously ticks up one and then falls back down again. This clock is broken. If we look at what a broken clock means symbolically, being stuck in a time loop or frozen in time, 
than a broken clock appearing in the Pikmin 4 trailer, and the fact that it's displayed so prevalently here in the first place might be a hint at something gameplay related. Perhaps something with Pikmin's trademark day and night time system. Pikmin is a real-time strategy game that's widely known for testing players' time management skills. In every Pikmin game so far, time constantly ticks down on any given day. So players always have to monitor the meter to ensure their Pikmin squads get back to the onion safely before sundown. And each time we start a new game in Pikmin, no matter which entry in the series, time is measured in days. There's no stronger example than in Pikmin 1, when we only only have 30 days to beat the game. What if the broken clock in this trailer is a hint trying to tell us that in Pikmin 4, this cycle is going to be shaken up, and we will no longer have to worry about time as much, as symbolized by the malfunctioning clock. In the brand new Pikmin 4, maybe time will be infinite and no longer a factor allowing for free-flowing exploration. The day and night system could potentially be no more, and this broken clock would be a hint toward this change hiding in plain sight. It wouldn't be the first time Nintendo has hinted at important game details in early trailers, and as much as I'd personally be concerned if the classic day and night system was removed from Pikmin, I think a change like this is definitely possible. This is going to be the fourth entry in the Pikmin series, and Nintendo will definitely be looking to add some changes in order to keep things new and fresh. Even right after this trailer, in the Nintendo Direct, Miyamoto himself did say that he was working to make it easier for players to focus on the game's strategy elements. So the removal of a time constraint, or at least a time constraint as we know it, could be part of that plan. Thinking like this is a kind of double-edged sword though. If we're thinking in terms of the symbolism of the clock, it could also be interpreted to have the completely opposite meaning. For example, it could just as well hint that Pikmin 4 will have an even greater focus on time management and strategy than ever before, with deeper mechanics, more customization, and more hardcore challenges. With three previous titles in the series that all iterated and learned from each other, this kind of change is also very possible in Pikmin. Pikmin 4, and falls right in line with that same Miyamoto comment I mentioned earlier. Clearly, there's still so much we don't know, and the single Pikmin 4 teaser trailer that we have right now doesn't tell us very much at all. There's plenty to speculate about, that's for sure, but in terms of concrete details, there's not much to go on. Either way, it's fun to talk about things like this, so let me know in the comments what you think about the clock. Is there any significance to it, or is it just a meaningless background object? We won't know for sure until we get more details, but let's start a discussion about the game as we eagerly await its next trailer. I cannot wait to hear more about Pikmin 4, and if you feel the same way, then keep it right here with this channel, as I'll be talking much more about it as 2023 approaches. If you enjoyed today's video, then I hope to see you again here soon, and thanks for watching.